Welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our playthrough of NBA Jam Tournament Edition for the Super Nintendo. I'm RJ facing off with FPS Kyle. What's going on everybody? Uh, this is definitely a classic game, one of my more favorite games. Even to play to this day, I can just hop on here and, and play a quick basketball game. It's always fun. Oh yeah, uh, this is definitely one of the most iconic games from when we were growing up. We were also joined up with C-Dub. Uh, Corey, I can imagine this is one of your favorites. Oh, man, this was a, a perennial favorite of mine, both at the arcades back in the day. I used to tear up the sticks. Yeah. And, of course, right here on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we used to, uh, my, myself and my friends, have uh, a ton of games uh, against each other that usually ended in somebody being smack-talked and uh, potentially throwing the controller and going home. I think we all had uh, those uh, situations. Oh, yeah. I definitely remember picking up this game. It was actually something I got for one of my birthdays. It was my big present that I wanted. You know, every year you'd have that one one thing that you wanted. And, and one year it was NBA Jam. When I got it, I played my stepbrothers and all my friends. And uh, it was definitely on, that's for sure. This is a pretty fun game. I'm going to go with the uh, Utah Jazz, repping the people out there in Utah. I know... Yeah. Uh, you and I both have uh, spent some time out there in Utah, oh, Kyle. Yeah. Park City, man. I love it out there. Who are you going with? I'm going to go with uh, our own home hometown team here. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the Orlando Magic, and I'm going to use uh, start and let's old it. Penny Hardaway and uh, Horace Grant here. Waiting on you. All right. Here we go. We're going to uh, do the old Orlando Magic versus Utah Jazz. I'm repping Utah. Kyle's repping the Orlando Magic. Uh, Corey, what can we expect in this classic game? Well, uh, it's going to work out pretty good. You guys both have uh, two people who can sh uh, nail shots from the outside in uh, Penny Hardaway <laughs> and John Stockton. And you both have two guys who can really uh, do work under the basket, the two big bruisers in Horace Grant and the mailman, Carl Malone. All right, so I'll start off here with a Penny Hardaway 3. Oh, damn Grant it. doing work. I think Kyle's going to be the heavy favorite. He seems to uh, have this game a little bit more down. I'm trying to still figure out the controls, but I think I should make a late push. Man, just shoot the ball. I keep passing it. Nice defense there by you, Kyle, as uh, you definitely have the early lead. i got to figure out the block button here. Yeah, this is definitely uh, one of the best multiplayer games. It was uh, a great four-player game when we actually got the tools to do that. Oh, damn it. Got How him. is that not a foul? Got him. Ooh. Oh, uh -oh. he's on fire. All right. Oh, boy. Got to go back to the tried and true uh, dunk rate. Oh, that has got to be goaltending. Get gold the fuck tending. off me. And guys, how memorable are the, uh, the announcer calls in this game? I mean, you still oh, yeah. hear stuff like this said to this day on sporting broadcasts. Boom shakalaka. Uh, That's what I'm going to do right here. Yep. Oh, it's nope, definitely iconic. Oh, man. All right, so I got the uh, steal button down. Perhaps it's too late as I'm already down 12-0. Uh, I can't even make it. You keep stealing it from me before I even actually get in, in there. Let's pass it up to the mailman here. Oh, and he's on the board. There we go. So that stops you on fire here. Now, yep. I've seen some uh, rallies done here in NBA Jam, so definitely can be done here. Um, not sure the goaltending rules in here, so can you... Ball's got to be moving up uh, for it to be goaltending. If it's on its way down... Then they will call go. it in this game? Yep. Okay, that's what I was wondering. If the ball's still traveling up when you hit it, or I think it's over the basket, maybe. Pretty interesting uh, planes that we have to deal with in this game. I mean, it's a, it's kind of a 3D game, but there's still two-dimensional planes. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I keep hitting the pass button instead of the shoot button. Uh, for me, it's down. Hit. It's just these two here. So, yeah, yeah you got to get a little hang of it, but it's definitely only about three buttons to remember. Yeah, yeah, the block button. But it happens to me all the time. It's like I'll defense. be going to dunk it, and I pass it off. I know. I don't know what it is about this game. Now, one thing you got to know in Tournament Edition, down at the bottom there, it's got injury. Uh, so right now, Horace Grant's got three. I might want to sit them for a quarter because if they get seven, they start getting really bad, and they start getting slow. So you got to remember really? that in this game is is to always uh, check and see what condition your guys are in. Interesting. Yep. Nice insight there from uh, FPS Kyle. I guess that means I got to put an old uh, Jeff Hornacek here. Uh, let's see here. 
We'll do the old Hornacek uh, mailman combination here. So, uh, man, I, I'm not really a, a fan of these controls here. It's basically every button kind of switches. You pretty much press start, and that, that pretty much locks it in there. Yeah. All right. There so, we go. Uh, so we, we got to pull off a comeback here. There we go, Stockton, or Hornacek. I guess I can't tell anymore. I think that's Stockton. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Corey, what was your uh, favorite teams from uh, this version of NBA Jam? Well, uh, most like a lot of people back in these days, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I was probably about 10 years old uh, whenever this game came out, roughly. And uh, my favorite players were uh, the Chicago Bulls, you know, Jordan, Pippen, um, even all the, the lower level guys. Um, and of course, the Orlando Magic. I was a big fan of uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway. Um, yeah. So, I mean, usually my go-to team, actually, back in the day was the Orlando Magic. But uh, as I've played it, as I've been older, I've actually relied on uh, the Rookies team, which is in this game. Uh, it's basically the 1994 NBA draft class. Uh, you got guys like uh, Grant Hill, Jason Kidd. It's pretty much a star-studded lineup as rookies. Definitely. So uh, that's usually my go-to. Yeah, I noticed uh, Michael Jordan is not in this game. What's up with that, C-Dub? Or Shaquille, you know. It well, sucks, uh, man. It sucks. Basically, the way that it worked with uh, Jordan and O'Neal, as you know, Michael Jordan had the game Chaos in the Windy City, which featured his likeness. And because he had it licensed for that, um, it was not included in NBA Jam. Now, also, with uh, Shaquille O'Neal, he had the infamous game yes. Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. Uh, it's a complete abomination. Yeah. Um, the same reason uh, he is not featured in the game. Uh, at one point in the arcades, also, you had Charles Barkley in the game. And uh, he is notable in his absence here. Yeah, I was looking for him. Definitely wanted to use old Charles Barkley, that's for sure. All right, I'm starting to uh, get the hang of it. But unfortunately, it is probably too late. As, uh, what is the second quarter, so I suppose I have time, but Kyle, you definitely know uh, what you're doing when it comes to NBA Jam. Uh, what, uh, what makes you such an expert in this game? Uh, just, I used to play it all the time. Um, actually, uh, when we were back in high school, me and old C-Dub, we actually had a yearbook class. Well, we didn't really do too much work in that class. We played, <laughs> we downloaded game emulators on our computers in there. And, uh, yeah, we played a ton of these games. I pretty much played a game of this every class I was in. So yeah. um, it's a great game. Man. Like I said, it's just something to kind of pass the time. It's um, I actually had the app for it on my phone, which was, was pretty good. I'd, you know, if I'm chilling somewhere and got nothing to do real quick, I'll just play a game of NBA Jam. All right, I'm going to go with the mailman Hornacek uh, combo one more time. Uh, one thing that's really memorable about this game, other than just being one of the better multiplayer games available for the time, was uh, also its codes, you know. You could really put in some interesting uh, codes. Bill Clinton's available. Uh, a lot of the mascots. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, the first goaltending. Yep, I was it. waiting for. I was wondering <laughs> what because this is like extreme basketball, of course. Oh damn! Hit the wrong button and it oh, went in anyways. It. Yeah, Atta you got some Hornacek. shooters out. Well, you do with with Hornacek. It's about all you can do, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, there's not much to this game. Not not a ton of depth. Oh. Ooh. All right. Mailman. All right, let's pass it up, and damn, you're knocking me down, man. And Ooh, making the little, delivery little right mill, there. A windmill dunk Pretty there. impressive. All right, let me see if I can try to stop you here. Corey, uh, any other codes that you remember that I didn't name off? Yeah, man. One of my favorites was uh, Warren Moon, yeah. the uh, famous Houston Oilers quarterback is actually in this game. Also, Randall uh, Cunningham. Yes, Randall Cunningham as well. Uh, Bill Clinton, Al Gore, uh, some of the creators of the game. Um, I think there was a, quite a few others, man. Uh, like you said, the I, I can't remember if the Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff were in this one or the original. But uh, that was always a, a yeah, favorite Chris. thing uh, back in the day, you know, whenever you could uh, impress your friends who hadn't seen it before by uh, having, you know, the Fresh Prince and Bill Clinton on your team. That's a pretty good combo. <laughs> oh, rejected. Starting to finally get the hang of this. Uh, perhaps the rematch might be a better matchup Ooh. here as uh, maybe I can get on fire for once. 
Oh, you got an open lane. Of course, we you know when you're on fire, you have unlimited turbo at your disposal. Oh, I forgot to even. I haven't even been. Using oh, that's turbo. a damn goaltending. Haha. -ha. And yeah, you might want to use your turbo to dunk and shoot. Um, it's definitely a must in this game. All I'm right. about to end your uh, fire streak here. I know. I was trying to figure out what the turbo button was. Here, it's give your, me a second. It's your top to... buttons. It's your left okay. and right. There oh, you there it is. See, it makes shoes. the shoes green. What's up with the uh, turbo function in this game, C Dub? Well, it uh, not only does it make you run faster and do these super dunks, it also allows you to, rather than doing the steal maneuver, you will do a push maneuver where you actually push the person over. Yeah, you truck them. Um, it's, it's it's pretty much a, a must uh, a must use uh, element to the game. Of course, you got the meters up above. And where you could also look while you're playing, uh, as you notice, just at your shoes. Now, guys, I got to tell you, speaking of the turbo feature, as we go into what I believe is the fourth quarter here, um, if you do uh, get on fire and you do enough dunks and the person who you're using, their dunk rating is high enough, you can actually break the backboard in this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Shatters I've never it. seen that. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. That's that's it. I'll see if I can do it. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. Uh, tried to uh, formulate a comeback against you. Oh, that was in. Oh, damn it. I hit the wrong button again. Oh, Oof, nice. <laughs> the three-pointer. Hey, that's that long delivery there from the mailman. That's, oh, that, that's that overseas man. package. You need to stick you there. All right. Oh, come on. All right. Come on, Carl. Go in, baby. Yes. Hopefully, uh, Penny Hardaway had a Sprite. And as I had him benched uh, their last quarter... And uh, he's going to get back into it here with uh, draining some threes for me. Hopefully uh, I can at least give you a battle here at the end, make it somewhat exciting. I 10, feel like I mean, you definitely uh, deserve a victory here. But uh, this game, I've definitely seen some runs happening, but it looks like you're going to stop me from doing that. You're trying to muscle me here. Lucky for me, there's no backcourt violation, and I can go right through with a fancy layup in your face. Uh, you can definitely tell you're using uh, Horace Grant there, Kyle. He kind of sticks out. No, I'm using, um, but yeah, yeah, I do have Horace Grant. I'm actually using uh, Hardaway right now, but yeah, Grant's great, man. He's good at knocking people over in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I like having him as the computer because the computer is just ruthless and they'll just do it all day long. Corey, I, I thought I remember Shaq being in a version of NBA Jam. Uh, I know he's not in this one. Did they ever get him in there? You know, he might have been in one of the early arcade releases. Uh, he might have even been on one of the home ports. I honestly can't remember, but I do recall the fact that Shaq was notable in his absence. Uh, I don't believe he was ever on any of the uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition versions of the game. It had to probably be the original NBA Jam. Well, Kyle, you, uh, I believe, have claimed victory here in this matchup. Congratulations. Thank you. But I think uh, I think this is going to go unsettled. I challenge you to, another one. to a rematch. Okay. Do you, uh, do you accept of the course. challenge? All right. Well, good to hear. Make sure to stay tuned for that, guys. I will avenge my... Loss here to FPS Kyle. Victory! You definitely know what you're doing, but I'm going to train up right, like practice. Rocky. I'm going to play this game every day for the next month. And next month, I'm going to try to strip you of the title. We'll go out and we'll buy a WWE-esque title belt for you for now. All right. But I'm going to be coming for it because I have my rematch clause. I didn't even use my number one team on here, to be honest with you. So oh, I, You didn't even let me put in the codes. You skipped that. I was going to put in my <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air yeah. code. You just bypassed that on me. I, that was my uh, ace in the hole uh, there. I was going to use Bill Clinton. You'd have been screwed. Hey, man. Fresh Prince. He's great in this game. You know, nonstop. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for the NBA Jam Tournament Edition playthrough. We'll definitely make sure to bring a part two as I have challenged FPS Kyle. Hopefully I can take him out. He's pretty strong. He beat me pretty good there. C-Dub, this is an epic game and uh, definitely deserves us to uh, pay massive respect to it because back in the day it was, it was one of the best multiplayer games we had for so long. Oh, man, there's no doubt about it. This was uh, d definitely a favorite between me and uh, everybody I knew. 
Uh, I am looking forward, perhaps, to you guys playing the new NBA Jam on Fire Edition for the Xbox 360 and PS3. We'll have to get into that for you guys here sometime soon. But for now, for RJ and Kyle, stay tuned for some more trippy commentaries. Boom shakalaka action. Stay trippy, y'all.